This is the Sinku 300 watt portable power station. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual. They give you a car charging cable. So it's a cigarette lighter plug to a barrel jack connector as you see there. They give you the house charger. So that has a uh, an IEC plug on it to barrel jack connector and they give you a standard US IEC plug that will fit in that and of course you get the power station itself so let's get the camera on a tripod I'll give you a walk through this and where everything is how everything works and we'll go from there so here is the unit itself there are two handles as you see here that flip up and then of course you can take it with you they flip down the top has wireless charging just set your phone down on that if I do go ahead and flip this around there's a grill over there that is a light panel I'll show you that in depth and there's a fan there and coming back around front and center we'll take a look at what we have here three buttons for power for the light and for AC power you have your input over here, 12 to 25 volts using the adapter they gave you. 12 volts, 8 amps output. 24 volts, 3 amps output. Two standard USB ports. 3.1 amps in total output on that. And they give you a PD or USB-C port over here which is 18 watts. Cigarette lighter or power port if you must be politically correct just like you'd have in the car. So you can plug any car type device in there, 12 volts, 8 amps. And two outlets, 300 watts maximum, 110 volts, get ready, pure sine wave. Not a modified sine wave, pure sine wave output. So it's safe for electronics. You can charge your phone with this. You can charge other USB devices. Maybe you have a car charger for your phone. Air mattress inflator to blow it up. Tire inflator, something like that. You can charge your laptop with this. You can power small appliances with it. It does an awful lot. Let me turn it around and we're going to just start off with the flashlight or the light panel on the back. So we'll put that down, find the button here, and we'll turn it on. Now the camera is going to have a hard time focusing on that, so let me see if I could just turn that for a minute, get the exposure up. You have uh, light there, you can press the button and it will flash and you can press it again and you get SOS mode and press it again and it turns off now you have an information panel we'll go ahead and turn the unit on so that turns on DC voltage and USB so you have your USB ports here these are live this is live and your DC output these two ports here are live. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start plugging various things into it to see what it can handle and what it can't. So we'll start by charging my phone. We'll plug this in over here. There we go. The phone made that sound. And USB we're using 4.5 watts. That's all it's going to draw to charge the phone. So that's all nice and good. You can plug other USB devices in at the same time. And you're like, well, anything can charge your phone these days. I have a little solar panel thing that'll, and you're right. But it's nice to have that on there. Let's get into some bigger stuff. Okay, here's one of those car tire inflator things that plugs in the cigarette lighter. I can't fit a tire here, so we're just going to blow up a balloon but I'm just going to blow it up until it pops. 
So we'll leave it run for a while. So let's go ahead and turn the unit on. And we'll go ahead and plug in the cigarette lighter. And I think we're just going to leave everything well enough alone. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Now, take a look here at the output. You're going to look at the top number. I'll turn that maybe so it's a little easier to see. So zero watts. And we're going to turn this on and just let it blow this balloon up until it pops. Full battery on the meter. So I don't know how long that was, but I've already put a Chiron on the screen showing how long it ran for. And last I knew it was pulling approximately 30 watts. So that's not a tremendous amount of power, but it's also not something simple like a cell phone. So at this point you're probably saying, come on, let's see, get out the big guns, let's go. All right, let's get some bigger stuff yet. All right, for AC power, we're going to press the button there, and it says AC. I don't know if you heard a little grumble from it. That's the fan in there. That will come on, on and off as needed. Here is a jigsaw. It pulls 2.2 amps. We'll plug that in, and let's see if it can run it. Pulling about 70 to 80 watts, and I'm sure under load, it'll pull more than that. All right, let's go for something a little bit more power hungry. Here's an old skill drill, 3 8 inch drill. It says 3 amps on it. I'm going to start off slow, and we'll see what it's going to be able to do. Bolt right there, 186 watts, 181 watts. No problem at all. Let's hit that full boat right from the start. So it definitely ran it. It's a little slow to get started. And this is one of those car polisher things. Now this has a variable speed control on it. So let's see. That's at the lowest speed right there. And I'm going to slowly raise that. This is rated at 10 amps, by the way, way more than this can supply, but let's see what we can do. And it overloaded at some point. That's the red indicator there. So it can only do so much. So it starts pulling a lot more current than it can supply at one point or another. But let's get one other item. This is one of those little personal heaters. Runs on 120 volts, 200 watts. Let's see if it can run it. I expect it probably will start it without any problem, but let's see what it can do. Oh, 
Oh, there's heat coming out, indeed. Yes. Yes, indeed, it works. Now, it's rated at 200 watts. That doesn't mean it's going to pull that. It's going to pull less than that. But, um, as you see, we're climbing 178 watts, 183 And it's running it just fine. So that seems to be doing just fine. So it depends on the load you're going to put on it. Obviously the power tools, way more than this is really designed for. You're going to be charging a laptop with this, a cell phone, other USB devices, stuff like that. Incidentally, there's also a 100 watt solar panel that's available for this that can charge it via solar. Well, let's get this out of here and we'll talk about battery charge and how long it might last and all that kind of stuff. So the power in this pack, this is all stated at a full charge, should be able to charge an average cell phone about 20 times. Let's say you have a mini fridge that pulls 60 watts that should be able to run it for about four hours. Charging a laptop about three times. The included wall charger for it that plugs in over there will charge it up fully in about seven hours. Using the car charger cable is going to be eight hours. So you're going to be on a long, long, long trip for this to charge up via the car. Not really the best way to do it, but it can, and that's why they give you that. And if you do go for the optional 100 watt solar panel for this, this can charge up fully in only five hours. That's pretty impressive. Now again, you wanna watch how you apply the loads to this. In other words, you know, the drill was really almost too much for it as it was. And the uh, polishing device, as we saw, was way too much when we get up into those higher speeds. But for example, a 60 watt mini fridge running that for four hours now you can calculate that if you're doing a 30 watt device it should be able to run it for twice the amount of time eight hours in that so how long it's going to last is anybody's guess because it co depends completely upon the devices that you are plugging into it but still the ability to have this here this one little thing take it with you you got power you got plenty of power to run stuff. Pure sine wave, which is great right there, to run, charge up some laptops, run a mini fridge, charge your phone with the USB ports, all that kind of stuff. Plenty, plenty of juice in this unit to be able to do that. So all around a very, very worthwhile unit. Again, there was solar, char I'm sorry, uh, wireless charging on top there, and around back was the light that I showed you before. So all around, the 300 watt portable power station from Sinku is quite good. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.